In today's episode, I'm gonna recreate my first Arduino project, which was a snake game. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make it using the OLED display that we have talked about in the previous video. As you can see, we can control it using the joystick by moving the VRX and the VRY value. And each time we pick up one of these apples, the buzzer is activated to make a sound. Also, we have the game over feature. If I hit myself, we have game over and the score is 8, then the game is restarted. So before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button, that helps me a lot. And without any further ado, let's dive right into it. You could download the project files from the link under the description. Here we have the circuit schematic diagram. And let's start with the OLED display. Basically it is using the I2C communication, which means we have to connect the SEL and the SDA. The SEL goes to the analog pin A5, the SDA to the analog pin A4. The same thing applies for an Arduino Uno, and you could use the ESP32 microcontroller. It has an SDA and an SEL pin, and the other two leads are the VCC and the GND to power up this OLED display. The VCC goes to the 5V pin, and the GND to the GND. Then we're going to use the joystick to read the inputs from the user. The GND goes to the GND, the VCC to the 5V pin, and they have connected the VRX that changes when we move the joystick left and right to the analog pin A0, the VRY to the analog pin A1. Basically, the joystick is like two potentiometers to adjust the VRX and the VRY values. We're going to use it to control the snake. And finally, to add some sound effects, you could use this buzzer. I have connected the negative lead to the GND and the positive lead to the digital pin number 2 so that we can use the digital write command to uh, turn it on and off. Now you could pause the video and try to connect these components. I've already done that. I have mounted the OLED display using the breadboard. Then I have connected the SDA to the analog pin A4, the SEL to the analog pin A5 and so on. The buzzer is connected to digital pin number 2. And finally, we have the joystick. I have used these male to female jumper wires to connect the leads to the board. Now we can move on to the Arduino IDE and check how all of these components work. On top, I have included few libraries that we need. The wire library is built in. You don't need to install it, but you're going to need to install these. I've already done that in the previous video. You could go to tools, then manage libraries. The first one is SSD1306, make sure to write the same name, then search for Adafruit SSD1306 by Adafruit. It allows you to control the SSD1306 OLED display. The second one is called GFX, and make sure that it's by Adafruit. I've already installed it in the previous video. Once you do that, you will be able to upload this code, but first you have to change some parameters. On top, we are creating the Adafruit SSD object, which is our display. And in here, we pass in a few parameters, like the width and the height. This is 128 by 64 pixels display. The third parameter is the wire library that we have included on top, because this object will need it for the I2C communication. And the last parameter is the reset pin. For me, this display doesn't come with a reset pin. That's why I'm going to leave it minus 1. Then we have created some variables for the joystick and the buzzer. The VRX is connected to the analog pin A0. The Y variation is connected to the analog pin A1. If you have used the different pins, make sure to put the right values. I highly recommend you to read the sketch. It's a little bit long, but it is easy to understand. Here we are checking for the joystick inputs so that we can change the direction of the snake. And once we eat the apple, we are increasing the score by 1 and we are activating the buzzer for 10 microseconds. Then we have created these two functions, draw snake and draw food to draw these objects. We have the game over function to display the text game over as well as the score. Finally, you may need to change the address of the display. Let's go back to the setup function. Here we are setting few parameters, like the address of the display. I've already used 0x3d, but it doesn't work. That's why I need to change it to 3C. And once you do that, we can upload the sketch after selecting the right board. I haven't connected the USB cable. 
Once you do that, we have Arduino Nano. And let's hit upload. Now it is uploading the code. So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.